हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइस एज यू नो इन दिस सीरीज वी डिस्कस ऑल द मेमोरी आइटम्स ऑफ एयरबस ए थ्री ट्वेंटी सो टुडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस लॉस ऑफ ब्रेकिंग वी विल कवर आर एफ कॉम एफ सी टी एम वी विल सी वॉट इज रिटर्न इन योर बुक्स रिगार्डिंग लॉस ऑफ ब्रेकिंग सो let me tell you that this video is for those who are preparing for their airline interviews or who are just doing their type rating or going for their type rating okay the, if you are already flying this machine that this video will not help you in any way okay so for an example if an interviewer ask you the memory item of loss of braking so you will just say call out loss of braking if no braking reverse max brake pedal release anti skid off order anti skid and nose wheel steering off brake pedal press maximum brake pressure 1000 psi if still no braking parking brake use that's it now you will wait for their cross questions they will definitely ask you one or two cross question just to cross check your knowledge about this memory item they may ask you that uh, okay uh, vishek when will you apply this memory item when you will think that now this is high time to apply this memory item they can ask definitely second question they can ask you is what is happening in your aircraft when you are putting anti skid and nose wheel steering switch to off they will def- they can definitely ask right they can ask how you will apply parking brake like is there any specific technique to use the parking brakes okay so we are going to cover all these cross questions in this video let's start the video but before everything let me tell you my name is abhishek sharma channel ka naam hai flying or peace aur main aisi videos banata rehta hu now comes the very first question as we discussed when will you apply this memory item when you will decide now this is the high time to apply this memory item so guys when you will go to your fctm flight crew technique manual they there you will find loss of braking memory action and there you can find if the flight crew does not perceive deceleration when required the flight crew will apply the loss of braking procedure so whenever you wants to decelerate your aircraft you are applying brakes but your aircraft is not decelerating Uh, again next co- cross question can be uh, okay abhishek you are on taxi way or you are on apron uh, but your aircraft is not stopping will you apply loss of braking memory action so by default i don't know why even this was in my head also that we apply loss of braking memory action only on runway uh, after landing when we do not perceive deceleration but this is not the fact whenever you are not perceiving deceleration you will apply this loss of braking memory action i have seen so many interviewers asking the same question right guys let's go to the third question which is why you are asked to release brake pedals first and then it is asked to put anti skid and nose wheel steering switch off let me break down this whole memory action for you first of all now imagine a scenario you are not able to bre- stop your aircraft right what options do you have now first of all your hand is on thrust lever right so put the reversers to the max this is step 1 makes sense reversers helps you to stop the aircraft right second option do you have is to change the controller from bscu to abcu right maybe something wrong with the controller so this is to revert your controller revert from normal braking to alternate braking to change the controller from bscu to abcu right so the second step is to change the controller guys imagine still with the help of alternate braking you are not able to stop your aircraft then third option you have is to use parking brakes that's it this is the whole memory item it basically has three steps only reversers max change the controller and if still no braking parking brake use but to change the controller what is the technique let me show you so technique is given in your fctm okay so i have taken a screenshot of fctm here it is so your fctm flight crew techniques manual says in order to successfully revert to alternate braking it is important to sequence the actions in these three steps pilot flying should release the brake pedals first okay 
Pilot flying should release the brake pedals first and then request pilot monitoring to set anti-skid and nose wheel steering switch to off. Second step. Third step, then brake. So now, once your pilot monitoring has set the anti-skid and nose wheel steering switch to off, then apply brake pedals. Then apply pressure on the brake pedals again. Now, ABCU will automatically limit the brake pressure to 1000 psi but still monitor the brake pressure on the brake pressure indicator okay i will tell you all your uh, questions which are coming in your mind so these are three steps to change your controller to successfully revert from normal braking to alternate braking this is the procedure and this is what you are doing in this memory action so guys what did you came to know in last five minute i will summarize it just you just came to know that it is a technique to convert to revert from normal braking to alternate braking that's why you are just releasing the brake pedals first and then you are doing the uh, uh, anti-skid and nose wheel steering off and then you are changing the controller and and it is written in your fctm okay but guys wait here i still have that chul why to release brake pedals first what will happen if i will not release the brake pedals okay so i'll answer this question but before answering i would ask you to read it once what is written over here when the flight crew sets the anti-skid nose wheel steering switch to off the control of the braking system is transferred from bscu to abcu and the alternate braking mode is active the PF should release the brake pedals before the pilot monitoring selects the anti-skid off. It is written that release the brake pedals before the pilot monitoring selects anti-skid off. So there can be brutal braking applications. This step is given just to avoid brutal braking application. Now what do you mean by brutal braking application and why it would occur? So I will tell you guys imagine this is your brake pedal. And with 10 degree of displacement, it gives X amount of braking action in normal braking. But guys, do you know one thing? With the same amount of deflection, with same 10 degree of deflection, in alternate braking, it will give you more braking action. This information is given in your FCOM also. If you have studied your landing gears then in landing gear if you will go to the alternate braking without anti-skid here a note is given that note says initial pedal force or initial displacement produces more braking action in alternate mode than in normal mode so be cautious while you are in alternate braking mode makes sense perfect now i am totally satisfied why we are asked to release brake pedals first and then anti-skid off perfect so guys this is just a add-on clip just to give you the visual presentation uh, what is going to be the scenario in your cockpit when you are having loss of braking so guys assuming you are first officer and pilot flying your captain is pilot monitoring right so for an example you just landed and you are not having braking application you will call loss of braking reversers max brake pedal release you will release your brake pedals anti-skid off order you will you will ask your pilot monitoring to put the anti-skid off okay anti-skid nose wheel steering off now your pilot monitoring will off the anti-skid and nose wheel steering brake pedal press you will press the brake pedals now now you are in alternate braking be cautious you are going to have more braking action in alternate braking right maximum brake pressure 1000 psi monitor the brake pressure on the triple brake pressure indicator this triple brake pressure indicator shows you the pressure of alternate braking if still no braking parking brake use I will tell you how to use parking brakes in a while. That's it. Now comes the fourth question. 
which is why do we put anti skid and nose wheel steering switch to off uh, this question has been asked to me in an interview that's why i have written it here so obviously your answer should be either to revert from normal braking to alternate braking that's it guys now before answering the last question i would ask you to perform memory action for this youtube channel guys always check the playlist go to the channel click on the playlist you will definitely find something helpful for your journey maybe you are doing your atpls your airline preparation you will find refined playlist of different videos and second thing is always check the description box i keeps updating the description box all the details are given in the description box if anything uh, wrongly explained or any additional information everything is given in the description box i know these are the two things which we generally do not perform while watching anything on youtube i also do not do such things when i am watching youtube i just watch the video and that's it okay but third is comment if you find any incorrect or inappropriate explanation if you have any suggestion if you wants to have a video on a particular topic or anything please drop me a comment okay so this will help me so first two things will help you and the last thing will help me okay that's it now let's move to the last question how you will apply parking brake now what is the technique to apply parking brakes yeah. guys parking brake should be used in a way that it do not jam the wheels so that they do not skid and they do not burst but it should be in that way also that it stops the aircraft it should be successive let me tell you you have only seven braking applications available now in those seven applications you have to stop your aircraft it totally depends on the judgment of pilot flying now uh, this should remain this parking brake handle put your one hand on the parking brake handle and put the parking brake handle to on now see the deceleration your aircraft is having look outside see aircraft is not skidding aircraft is under control and look analyze the length of the runway available now put the parking brake handle again to the off okay now be ready for the second use now again put this parking brake handle to on see the deceleration how much aircraft is decelerating make sure aircraft is not skidding make sure aircraft is under control and look at the runway length now it depends on so many calculations this is how you uh, you again put the parking brakes to off and on again then off and on again and then off and on again so here you have seven applications right in seventh application you have to keep your parking brake on because now you have to uh, ask for towing vehicle because your aircraft do not have brakes this is how you are going to use your parking brake but this is not the way you are going to answer your interviewer so what you will say is when he will ask how you will use parking brake you will just say sir short and successive use of parking brake to stop the aircraft now he can ask you what do you mean by short and successive use of parking brakes so you will just say sir the application should be short so that your aircraft tire do not get jam aircraft do not skid and tire do not burst but it should be successive at the same time aircraft should decelerate also now guys i have answer your all five cross questions right now this memory item should be easy for you to understand and to remember guys now you are interview ready with this particular memory item if you want to watch other memory items then please go and check the playlist on that note jai hind